Hello, hello. Wait, I feel like this is crooked. Better. Hello, hello. If you blog on WordPress and you have the same layout to each of your blogs, then this video is for you. Today I will be talking about making a blog template with Gutenberg, also known as the blog editor, without any plugins. So hi, my name is Natalie and I help creative minds create fabulous content that leads to your offers. I do this by teaching you strategies and tech so that you can have more fun, more cake and more customers. If that sounds like it's something for you, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you know every time I post a new video. So if you post blogs on WordPress, um, you might have the same sections each time. So for me, I always start with a short intro, then I have my table of content, then I have a header, um, which is a header two, then I have some paragraphs, then I have another header. Um, so it has a bit of the same flow and then on the bottom, I always end with a call to action. If you do something like that too, then you might notice that it's really annoying that you have to remake those elements every time. One of my clients asked me this question, like how do I make a blog template? I post the same thing every time and I could only find videos that said you needed a plugin for this. And you really don't need to. So I want to show you how to make a content template within WordPress without any extra plugins. And it's really easy. Okay, so we are on my side and I just clicked new blog post or new post. Um, and uh, this is what you get. So what we're going to think about is all the elements that I usually put into a um, post, in a blog post, and group them together. And that's exactly what we need. We need to add in a group. And in the group, we're going to add in all those elements that we want to have in our template. So I'm going to start with a paragraph that we're going to call intro description. Then I want um, a short code, which I just type in normally. You can also make the blog short code. Um, this is for my table of content. Then I want a header, um, which I'm calling header one. If you're adding in new blocks, make sure that you add it in with this plus and not this plus, because this one is actually for within the group. So we're going to say header one, then we're going to add in uh, a little bit of text. There might be multiple paragraphs, but that's what you get. Then I might say that there's an image here, which I will just leave like this so that I can upload the image. Then there is another header, header two with a little bit of text. Um, and then after um, I might have more headers, um, most of the time I actually have three, so let's do one more. And three more text and then I might do a call to action so let's say that I want um, media and text and I have an image that I want to use so maybe I have one um, call to action that I do every time within this blog so I will have the image here and a call to action here more info um, for the Call to action would be here. Make sure that, of course, this is actual the call to action because if you do it once, then you don't have to redo it. But for me, I'm just now putting something random so that we know. Um, so yeah, that, that's what you could do. You could even add in a button here if you want to. That does something for the call to action. And a lot of my clients actually, so um, they add in a signature at the end. So let's do that too. And I don't really have a signature, so I'm just going to use this, which is going to be a huge. We're going to the block and then say 25%. So let's say that this is our template and we want this to use this on every of our blog posts. Now we need to go to the group and make sure that we select a group. It happens a lot of times that I don't actually have the group selected, but an element of it. So make sure you have the group selected and then click here on the three dots and say add to reusable blocks. And we're going to say block template. 
And maybe if you're making multiple, you want to say block template X so that you know what the difference is. And then we're going to hit save. And you can see that it's saving now. And then this is now the block template. Now, I'm not going to remove it yet because I want to show you something. So if we, if the whole page would still be empty, this would be our only plus. You know, this is not, this is within the group. This is without, uh, outside of the group. So we're going to add block and then we say block template. And this is our template. But if I would now type in something here, so a little bit of longer text that needs to go here. It also changes here. So before you can use your template, you need to make sure that it's not connected to the reusable uh, block anywhere. So we need to find our group again, make sure we have the group selected. So select reusable block, which is exactly what we want. And then here we have the um, button convert to regular blocks. So if I do that, and now I change this back to a little bit of longer text, you will see that it didn't change anything here. So now every time we open a new post, we can just click on the plus and open a new block and search for our block template. And here it is. We select the block template and say convert to regular blocks. And now we can just start typing in anything that we need. And we have our template all ready to go and to use. So if you have a blog that follows the same order every time, like using a table of content or a sign off or a call to action or all three, then this is specifically right for you. And you can make it in any way that you want to. You can even have multiple. It even works for other things that you might want to add into your blog, like a podcast episode or a video. So that's it for today. If you have any questions like this that you want me to answer for you, please put them in the comments below. If you have any questions about strategy and tech for creative minds, don't forget to add them in. There's this video over here that you might like as well. And I will see you next week. Bye.